I got a question and this is the answer. Welcome back to Life in My Shoes reviews and such. In this episode, I will be doing a review of the hardcover from DC Black Label, The Question, The Deaths of Vic Sage. So uh, per kind of the normal new format, what I want to do is give you the details. Um, I will be reading some of those from the notes. <coughs> and then I will, after I give you the details of it, I will launch into uh, kind of my thoughts around um, the product itself, not only the materials, but uh, the content. So let me launch into this and give you the details about the hardcover, the question, uh, the deaths of Vic Sage. <coughs> so this is written by Jeff Lemire. Um, and you've heard me talk about Jeff Lemire. I've done mi a multitude of reviews. Uh, he is the creator of uh, the Black Hammer universe at Dark, uh, Dark Horse Comics, uh, which includes Dr. Star, now Dr. Andromeda, uh, Sherlock Frankenstein, um, Skull, um, Skull Digger and Skull Boy, um, Barbell Alien, um, and Colonel Weird um, are all some of the ones that are part of that uh, greater universe. Also has written a variety of Marvel and DC titles. Um, so he is writing a, um, a black label uh, miniseries, four issue miniseries of the question. The art is by Dennis Cowan with Bill Sankiewicz. This is uh, a nice addition because this is a throwback to the original uh, question series, which I reviewed or provided an overview of in a previous video, which will be linked in the description. Um, so it's kind of feels like a natural progression of the original series from an artistic perspective. So as I mentioned, this is on uh, DC's black label. So DC has kind of done away with their Vertigo line, which was kind of their adult um, themed line where you would get kind of the things that would be on the outskirts of the DC proper universe um, that had a little more of an adult content. Uh, some of the Animal Man, um, John Constantine, Books of Magic, Black Orchid, Kid Eternity, um, things like that, uh, Sandman, Swamp Thing, things kind of that were a little more adult oriented. Uh, this black label has been created to kind of fill that void. Um, um, what DC has to say about it is that it is um, it, it consists of original miniseries and reprints of books previously published under other imprints, i.e. Vertigo. Um, but it also, um, the imprint intends to present traditional DC Universe characters for a mature audience with standalone prestige format series, which this was. It, uh, although <coughs> uh, I have it only in this hardcover collection, it was released in four issue miniseries in a prestige format. So as I mentioned, it collects that four issue series. It is 200 pages, which includes a sketchbook um, section and just some notes, etc., uh, in the back. Um, it is oversized, so it is not a traditional comic book or graphic novel size. Uh, the exact measurements are 8.78 by 11.16 inches, so it is bigger than a traditional uh, graphic novel slash comic book taller and wider, but um, uh, beautiful. Um, it is a hardcover with a dust jacket, uh, and uh, it was released on the 24th of November. I just finished reading it. I probably consumed it in two days. I, um, the first day I read maybe the first issue, and then I just finished it up the second day. Um, <coughs> uh, from a, a story perspective, it does include the returning characters. Um, so obviously the question slash Charlie Saza slash Vic Sage is still in the story. Uh, Myra Furman, still in the story. Wesley Furman, the mayor of Hub City, still in the story. Aristotle, uh, Aristotle Rodor, uh, or Tot, still in the story. So, and the story again takes place in Hub City. These are all consistent things uh, from the original series that carry over, um, but there are some slight differences and I will tell you about those in kind of my opinions of this overall product. So first let me talk about the materials of the product. 
Um, so as I mentioned, this is an oversized hardcover. Um, it has a dust jacket uh, with um, over the hardcover uh, and the hardcover is printed. You'll see kind of here in the image um, of what the hardcover looks like without the dust jacket. Now, from a preference perspective, this doesn't lessen the product per se. Uh, I would have rather had a very simplistic uh, hardcover uh, without the dust jacket, um, just a real simple, maybe a, a embossed or some kind of a printed rather than um, a graphic, just the title printed on it. Uh, some of the other uh, hardcovers I have, I think like, uh, um, America's Best Comics Top 10 Volume 1 and 2, like if you take the dust jacket off, it's just a very simple uh, cover. I would rather have had that underneath the dust jacket. D excuse me, the dust jacket. Having said that, I will leave it in the dust jacket on my shelf, so it will look fine. The dust jacket itself, <clears throat> you may not be able to see this, you can see it when I kind of tilt it, it's kind of multi-layered. So you can see kind of the gloss of the question itself, and then the rest of this is kind of flat, whereas that's glossy, and the back is the same thing. You see he's kind of glossy here, but the rest is kind of flat. So it's, it's a really neat um, that it has kind of these multiple layers of, of um, material, of, of art, um, that helps kind of it stand out. Um, <coughs> The hardcover binding is uh, is good. Uh, no complaints there. I wish it would have had a ribbon to kind of mark my place, like uh, the aforementioned America's Best Comics Top 10. A lot of the America's Best Comic hardcovers that I have have that kind of that ribbon that I can mark my spot as I'm reading it. Nice little touch, not required, um, but a nice little touch. Um, <clears throat> and again, the art. So this is was the winner of the original series. So uh, the Dennis Cowan, Bill Sankiewicz, uh art and inks um, just were um, the tone of the original series. And so it was a very natural uh, progression of the series to have that same art carry over into this series. Now, um, the challenge is that while the art kind of continued to tell the story of the original series, the story itself didn't. Um, and I made reference to this in my review of the, the novel by DC Comics called Helltown. Again, that also video is linked in the description. <coughs> this is a bit of a retelling of uh, the question's history. Uh, and with all the relaunches, the New 52, blah, 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 um, they're basically rewriting the history of the question. And um, that, to me, is where this falls down a bit. Um, so it, uh, it focuses a little bit on uh, what I will say as a minimal spoiler, the mythos of the question, um, and uh, in so doing kind of rewrites the history. <coughs> Uh, in addition to rewriting the question history, some of the characters that are returning are different, um, and um, that is part of that retelling. So we still have the question is Charlie Zaza slash Vic Sage. He still does work at the, uh, the TV station. Um, we still have Aristotle Roeder, Tot, although um, he is slightly portrayed differently. He looks a little younger. Um, I believe in the original series, Tot was a uh, primarily an inventor slash scientist slash professor. Uh, in this one, I think he's a retired police detective, um, still the advent inventor, still um, the uh, um, the professor, uh, and still a help to uh, to Vic Vic Sage, um, but. Um, even characterization is slightly off on that. Myra Furman, again, is in this series and still shares a history with uh, Vic that she did from the original series. In this series, the difference is that she is um, Wesley Furman's, the mayor of Hub City, is his sister. As opposed to the original series, she was his wife that was coerced into marrying him, kind of blackmailed into marrying him in the original series. So in this series, um, both Myra Furman and Wesley Furman are still in the series, still kind of represent similar characters, but their relationship is drastically different. Uh, Wesley Furman is still the corrupt mayor of Hub City, 
But uh, in this instance, uh, again, he didn't coerce his, uh, Myra into marrying him. He's also not portrayed the same as the original uh, Wesley Furman, which was kind of a, uh, a drunk, bumbling uh, mouthpiece that was being controlled behind the scenes, um, very corrupt. So you don't have that as well. And then the last thing that is consistent, pretty consistent, is the actual character of the city, Hub City, uh, which is a huge part of the storyline is that the city is extremely corrupt from the top down, the mayor, all the way down through um, the government, uh, all the people that are employed by the mayor, etc. Uh, and this does very much so touch on that as well. So um, generally, um, what I would say is um, I give it a thumbs up. Now, I, do, I don't love the retelling of the question's history. I don't love um, this specific specific um, telling of the question's history, retelling or recreation. Um, I don't love the concept of kind of the mythos, which without giving you spoilers, I can't talk about that too much. Um, I don't love that concept. Um, I, having said that, and I've said this before about other things, is any question is better than no question. Um, so uh, especially when you're talking, it is um, in the original setting of Hub City. It is really the original character. It is by the original artist. Um, I would have said, and we'll say it again, is the question, the original series at DC is one of my top 10 to 15 must reread every year graphic novel sets. Um, so it's a six volume set. So I reread that probably every year. Um, and so this would be added into that, although you do have to acknowledge that it is kind of its own story. Um, it's starting over, it's kind of creating a different layer uh, of, um, to the character. So all in all, I give it a thumbs up. I highly recommend it. Um, do you have to own it in the hardcover? No. Uh, if you want to wait for it to be released in softback, go ahead and do that. Um, I didn't want to wait, uh, so I got it in the hardcover. I am trying to buy more hardcovers now because they look better on my shelves. Um, so there you go. That's my review of the question. The Deaths of Vic Sage. Let me know what you think about the question. I've mentioned them in multiple other videos, which are linked in the description below. If you have to go back and watch those uh, videos to learn more about those other reviews of product that involve the question, uh, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, until next time, we'll see you then.